Working in CAD, you spend a lot of time managing layers. But in Revit LT, when you draw a wall or a door, you don't have to worry about it's going to the right place. It goes to the right place automatically. Categories are the way that Revit LT manages elements. And unlike layers, categories are built into the program. This means that not only does it work automatically, it is simply not possible to have a wall in any category other than wall. Let's take a look. Revit LT includes a fixed list of categories encompassing a wide spectrum of building elements. If I go to the Manage tab and click the Object Styles button, on the Model Objects tab we have all of the components that are physical things that you would place in your model. And it includes most of the architectural elements you would expect. Now when you take a closer look at any particular category, you also notice that you can configure things like the line weight, the color, or the pattern of those individual categories. Such changes would apply to all elements of that category throughout your model. Now notice there is not any way to control visibility here. There's simply a list of categories. So I'm going to cancel out of here and we're going to use a different command to control visibility. It's called visibility graphics. And to demonstrate that I'll open up another view and tile my windows. Now over here in this elevation view you can see I have a door here and the same door highlights over in the floor plan. If I go to the View tab and click the Visibility Graphics button, you will see that this dialog is very similar to Object Styles. However, the first column is now labeled Visibility, and as you'll see, there's a small check mark next to each category. If I uncheck Doors and click OK, notice that the doors over here in the elevation have disappeared, but they still remain in the floor plan. So that illustrates that when you make visibility changes, it applies only in the view that you apply it in. So let's look at a more practical example of that. I'm going to close that section, right click and duplicate my floor plan, rename it and then tile the views. So I have two copies of my floor plan and I'd like to make one of them a furniture plan and leave one a more typical construction floor plan. So my typical floor plan is going to be over here on the right and perhaps I don't want to see the furniture in that view at all. So I simply go to visibility graphics and I uncheck the furniture box. Click OK, and all of the furniture will disappear here. Now on the furniture side, I'd like the furniture to stand out. For example, maybe I don't want to see these grid lines. Now those you won't find on the Model Categories tab, they're over here on Annotation. Scroll down and uncheck Grids, and click OK. Now we're not limited to just turning things on and off with Visibility Graphics. We can also use this command to change the way that elements display. So if we consider the floors, for example, you could see they all have these surface patterns on there. And we might find that a little distracting in the furniture plan. Now we could certainly turn off the floor object, but a better approach, because there might be elements beneath the floor that would then display, would be to override the graphics of the floor elements themselves. So I'm simply going to click this override button here in the patterns column, and I'll hide just the surface patterns rather than the entire floor. Click OK, OK again, and you'll see all those surface patterns disappear. Now if I further want to make the furniture stand out even more, I can override its surface patterns as well. Perhaps give it a color, and then maybe even a solid fill pattern. When I make all of those changes, you can see now that the furniture stands out a little bit more on the furniture plan side, and it's not displayed all in the floor plan side. Now, what's important to understand is we're still dealing with a single unified model. So of course, if I select a door, it highlights on both sides of the screen. If I move it and change its orientation, it changes in both places, just like you would expect. Now, the important thing to understand is any new elements you create automatically know where to go. So if I were to add a new wall, that wall will automatically appear in both sides of the screen. But if I add a new piece of furniture, you will see that on the furniture plan side, the furniture displays and shades the same as all the other furniture, and on the floor plan side, it does not display at all. So once you've established your visibility settings, those settings continue to apply because all of the new elements that you add know to which category they belong.